James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbauer. I'm in the Executive Lounge today in the Hilton Hotel in Wembley. With me, I've got MGM's very own and Hilton sponsored boxer, Peter McDonough. How are you, Pete? Hey, there, James. Very good, mate. Just finished the weigh in. Yeah. Uh, just relaxing now. Uh, do you know what I mean? Get rehydrated. Get ready for tomorrow night. I've got to say, you, you kept this gaff to yourself, didn't you? You didn't, didn't let us know about this place. Yeah, it's nice. actually the one. Free Pepsi's as well. <laughs> no, nice little place. Uh, yeah, thanks to Marcus from the Hilton sponsor me. Uh, yeah. Sponsored me for a while now. It's always gets me the best rooms and uh, best hotel. So yeah, very good. Fair play. You just made weight for your fight against Harvey Dash Trisno. Uh, we, we've seen quite a lot of Trisno over the years and stuff. Um, what are you expecting from him? Yeah, no, very durable uh, uh, journeyman. Um, you know, comes and has a go. So that's why we picked him really because he does have a little go and uh, just use me boxing, box his head off, you know, because there's no room for slip-ups now with me, you know. First fight since you sort of parted companies with Danny Vaughan. How's your training and preparation been through through the sort of camp for this, if you like? Yeah, you know, everything's gone well. The only thing that, which I ain't done, obviously, I ain't been at MGM because uh, I, only had, I took the fight at three weeks' notice, so, well, me and the team took the fight at three weeks' notice. Uh, it sort of come up quick, got an opportunity to fight at Wembley, Thanks to MGM and NEC Sports. Um, so I've, I've, I've done a lot at home. Uh, but I've Peter Fury in the corner come Saturday night. Yeah. And uh, see what happens after Saturday night, what I'm going to do from then on. I was going to say that. It's interesting to see Peter Fury doing your corner. Normally, sort of that's reserved for Fury family members only. Yeah, no, I'm, part, I'm part of the family, and I, you know. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been out in uh, Holland with them, and I know the whole team, and get on with them. Well, they're, they're not just... Uh, Help me train me, they're my friends, you know. They've been friends for years, I've been friends for many years, you know. So, and they're friends of MGM and uh, my manager Daniel. So, you know, it's good, it's good, uh, it's good setup to be involved in. Last time out, good win for yourself at the National Stadium in Ireland to become three time Irish champion. What are your aspirations sort of moving on for 2016, Pete? The aspirations are obviously to get Saturday night out of the way first, um, then after that, sit down with my team, MGM, and obviously my manager, Daniel, and then see where we want to go from there. He said the next fight should be a good fight, so just let them do the work. See, interestingly enough, um, McKinley De Rocco will be facing Ricky Burns up in Glasgow. Yeah. You know McKinley De Rocco very well, having gone over to Italy and boxed him. And what, How do you see that fight playing out, and what chances do you give Burns in that? I think, Joe, I think uh, Burns can beat him, you know, uh, home advantage. I mean, De Rocco, I think, I don't even know whether he's fought out of Italy. You know, uh, so I think I think uh, Burns can beat him. He can outwork him. He's a stylish boxer. The Rocco tries to move all the time and all that sort of stuff. But if you give him pressure, which I did when I boxed him in Sardinia, he just he goes he crumbles under the pressure, which Lenny Dawes did as well. You know, which many many thought Lenny Dawes won. So maybe it should have been Lenny Dawes getting a world title fight. You know. Sorry about that. Just moved chairs because of the sort of fan that was going off in the background. Well, I've got to say this is a bit of a better view. A much better view. Sorry about that, Pete. What was we saying, mate? Let me ask you that question again. Obviously, recently we've seen Ashley Fearfane's going to be stepping up to face Adrian Broner. Big fight that one. Sort of Broner's come for a lot of stick recently. Some of his antics and stuff. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, firstly, James, uh, the sport we're in, it, it, like a lot of people in this sport, the sport will struggle, you know, to get to where they get to. And I mean, for a man to be throwing money all around the floor. You know, um, you know things you read in the papers. Obviously, everything you read in the papers is not real because you do get a lot of rubbish which is in the papers. But the way he's been acting lately, what sort of role model is that? Is he for any kid? You know, they put down Tyson Fury and say Tyson Fury is no no kind of role model, and you've got him running around like a lunatic in America. You know, I, I just think it's disgusting, and I hope Ashley Fairbairn smashes him to pieces. Because if he don't, I want to smash him to pieces. Good fight that, and as I said, it opens up potential, Vashti Fiafane is victorious, it opens up potential matches with some UK boxers. I know you'd like to get in the mix, Lenny, Lenny Dawes would have a rematch of Ashley Fiafane, I'm sure, and Ricky Burns, winner of Ricky Burns the Rocco could be a, a logistically a good fight as well. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, I mean, you know, you've got, you've got to support, obviously, a homegrown English fighter as well, 
with Ashley Fearfaint, and he has worked hard, and his career has been up and down. You know, fair play to him going out to Mayweather's, and you know, because I bet he's had hard times out there as well as good times. Don't, everyone talks about the good times. Like when we go to Spain and we go to Marbella, they go, "Oh, you're out in the sun. You're in. listen. Wherever you are, it's hard. Boxing's an hard game. Yeah, maybe we're getting the we're getting the best of treatment off people out there, and we're being looked after, but it is still hard. You know, and I find, you know, hopefully Ashley Fearpain comes through this because I mean all that. You know, throwing money on the floor. What sort of man's that? You know what I mean? That's not a man. Do you know what I mean? You don't throw money over the floor and you flush money down the toilet and, you know, act the way he acts, you know? Big fight this weekend for us. We're here at Wembley, obviously. Nick Blackwell defending his British title against Chris Eubank Jr. Cracking fight, that one. Yeah. Real, real good fight, trade fight, and hopefully has an appeal to sort of catch on a little bit. What, personally, what are your thoughts on it? Well, um, it's a tough fight. Uh, Blackwell's a champion. But he's a champion that's going in there as an underdog, I think, with, with uh, Eubank. But I think, um, I honestly think, if Blackwell fights the way he did in his last two fights, Eubank stops him. You know, I think Eubank stops him late. Right, but if Blackwell, if Blackwell can stick to him, keep his work rate going, and give him pressure, and make Eubank gas, then he could, you know, he could win this fight. But on his last two performances, you've got to go with Eubank as being the favourite, you know? And I love Blackwell. Blackwell's a lovely kid, he's a nice person, but that's my opinion on the fight. What have you made of, sort of, yesterday? You wasn't at the press conference, I know no. you were sort of doing stuff in the gym and that. What Did you happen to watch any of the press conference? No, I didn't see none of it, no. No, oh, well, I won't go into that too much then. All right, well, on that note, I'm going to leave you to go and refuel. I know you've got some chicken in that you've ordered. Yeah. So I'm going to leave you to have your bit of food on that, and I appreciate you giving Arthur to you a bit of time, Pete. James, can I say thanks, obviously, to MGM Marbella, uh, obviously my manager, Daniel, and I'd like to say thanks to... I always get it wrong. AG, Edwards and Sons, their demolition company, Whites, Hilton Liverpool and CMP, all my sponsors. I'd like to say thanks to all them, and obviously... My main, my main push and the main people behind me, obviously MGM, getting stronger every week. Cheers, mate. Nice one, Pete. Cheers, mate.